Hi dear. So last class we have saw about this uh, what is magnet magnetism and facts about the compass needle and then uh, who who found this uh, magnetic effects and all who uh, studied researched about uh, electromagnetic effects right. So next one is your magnetic field and magnetic uh, magnetic field lines okay. What does mean magnetic field? Uh, we are telling this some attraction force is there around the magnet right so that is called magnetic field the space around a magnet the space around a magnet in which the force of attraction either it may be attract or repel right so force of attraction or repulsion can be detected is called magnetic field okay the space around a magnet for example this is a magnet means the space around this magnet okay where this attraction or repulsion is detected is called magnetic field the space around the magnet in which force of attraction or repulsion can be detected is called magnetic field okay the SI unit of the magnetic field is tesla okay the SI unit of the magnetic field is tesla okay uh, what are uh, what is mean by one tesla one tesla means one newton one newton acting per one ampere meter that means one newton of force in the uh, one meter length of wire right so in the um, in one meter length one ampere one ampere current is flowing okay uh, one tesla equals to one newton per one ampere meter one newton per one ampere meter that is force acting per meter length okay when a current carrying how much current carrying one amp current is flowing in that okay so one tesla equals to one newton per amp meter uh, we can rewrite as one newton uh, one newton force can be written as one newton equals to kg meter per second square right so that divided by amps meter so this meter meter get cancelled so we can rewrite as 1 tesla is equals to kg uh, kg per if you take this reciprocal kg per second square amp second square ok we can uh, write in this manner also right this become kg per second square into 1 by m ok so this become kg per by amps second square ok so uh, we are talking about this uh, learning about this electric effect uh, magnetic effects of electric current right so how much force is acting on the some fo force of attraction we are using the word force of attraction so so it is given by 1 newton per 1 amp meter ok there is a unit of the magnetic field is tesla ok next magnetic field lines okay some uh, some magnetic force are acting around the uh, magnets we are telling so how will you represent that okay that is represented by the field lines magnetic field lines okay the magnetic field is represented by the field lines okay the magnetic field is represented by the field lines okay these are the curved path along with ion fillings arrange themselves due to the force acting on them in a magnetic field so you would have done an experiment on this uh, if you keep the magnet and if you sprinkle some iron fillings around that it will arrange itself in some particular direction it arrange itself in some particular direction okay that uh, that direction that lining the the path the, the path is called your field lines okay they are, they, these are the curved path along with the ion fillings arranged themselves due to the force acting on them. Whatever the direction may be, because of the force, they will align themselves in that direction. Okay, that direction, uh, that path is called field lines. Okay, likewise, this is the magnetic field lines around the magnetic bus. It is a magnetic bus. Even if you sprinkle this uh, ion fillings, it will move in this direction. It will move in this direction. It will align itself and it is moved in this direction. Okay. Next one. So we have seen magnetic field and magnetic field lines. So what are the properties of this magnetic field? Okay. Uh, magnetic field we have discussed. Uh, it is Newton. Uh, Newton per amp meter. Right. So uh, Newton means 
that mean that means there is a quantity it is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction magnetic field is a quantity that has both magnitude it has magnitude some value as well as in a particular direction only it will move okay so it is a quantity magnetic field is a quantity which has both magnitude and direction okay greater the number of uh, magnetic field lengths in a unit space more is the strength of the magnetic field for example this is a magnetic magnet there are so many uh, so many so many magnetic field lines are there means the greater the number of magnetic field line in a unit space for example take this some space with, with this in in this space so many lines are there means there will the the strength the magnitude of the magnetic field will be more okay if suppose take the same magnet bar ma magnet and take the same unit space okay only few lines are crossing this one then the strength the magnitude of the magnetic uh, field is very less okay greater the num uh, greater the number of magnetic field lines in a unit space more is the strength more magnetic lines means more strength okay less means less strength okay greater the number it is uh, determined by the number of magnetic field lines okay as we go away from the pole of the magnets the strength of the magnetic field decreases the strength of the magnetic field decreases see when we go um, away from the when it is nearer to the pole when it is nearer to the this is north pole this is south pole when it is nearer to the pole all the lines are very close to each other if it is close for the for example in this unit place more lines yeah, all the lines are concentrated here that means so many lines are there the strength of the magnetic field will be more here okay when compared to this place if you take this place only two lines or one line is passing here the the effect of the field the force acting on this place will be very less when compared to the poles when you even look at now uh, it is so congested in this place right when compared to this place take this unit space and take this unit space only two lines are crossing in this unit place when compared to this when, if you take this unit place so many lines are crossing that means more strength is there okay that is one of the property okay as we go away from the uh, poles of the magnet the strength of the magnetic field will decrease because in a unit space only two or three lines will be moving okay when it is nearer to the pole more lines will be more lines will be crossing this unit space okay so these are the three properties of the magnetic field what is that it has both magnitude and direction uh, and if the number of magnetic fields in a, a unit space is greater then there is a more strength uh, more strength of the magnetic field will be more okay as we go away from the pole of the magnet the strength of the magnetic field will decrease okay next next one is the properties of magnetic field lines how the lines will be okay outside the bar magnet outside the bar magnet the magnetic field line starts from north pole and ends at the south pole that means what outside the bar magnet this is a bar magnet for example this is north this is south means the magnetic field line starts from north pole okay it uh, magnetic field starts from north pole that means it starts from here and it starts from here and ends at the south pole okay we already seen that uh, uh, it is a it is a closed curved curved path right curved path we have seen the definition of the magnetic field line is a curved path okay so to make it continuous and curved what it has to this force has to uh, move in inside the magnet also okay so outside the bar magnet uh, the magnetic field lines from north and ends at the south okay inside the bar magnet to make it continuous inside the bar magnet it extends from south to north okay then only you can have a closed curved path right so inside the magnet they extend from south pole to north pole outside the bar magnet it starts from north pole and ends at the south pole okay clear outside it starts from north to south and inside it extends from 
south to north okay then only you will have a closed flow right closed path curved path okay the magnetic field lines are closed and continuous curves that is what we have mentioned okay closed and continuous curve okay the region where field lines are closer denotes a stronger field uh, magnetic field we have seen that um, properties of magnetic field itself there are uh, if the if the magnetic field lines are closer and closer means that the magnetic field strength will be more if it is uh, far away from if the region where the field lines are farther apart denotes relatively weaker magnetic field so this is weaker uh, magnetic field this is strong magnetic field okay the magnetic field lines never cross each other the magnetic field lines will never cross each other that means it will be um, moving parallel to each other like that okay it will never cross each other okay that means what uh, usually the the direction of the uh, field is represented by the represented by drawing a tangent at this for example in this point if you draw a tangent this direction shows the pointing of the needles okay if two 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 field lines crosses each other for example this um, okay then if you draw a tangent like this it will show at this point okay in this point two direction is not possible right so it is impossible so it will never cross each other okay the field lines will never cross each other okay so uh, this is one of the important question why don't two magnetic field lines intersect each other okay no two field lines are, are found to cross each other because if they did if they did if they cross each other then it would mean that at the point of intersection the compass needle would point towards two direction here if you draw a tangent it will show this direction here if you draw a tangent to this line it will show this direction at a point both two directions is not possible right so the compass needle would point towards a two direction which is not in, which is not possible okay this is one of the important question why don't two magnetic field lines intersect each other no two field lines are in, found to intersect each other if they did it would mean that the, in the point of intersection the compass needle would point towards two direction which is not possible clear on this okay next one so from activity uh, 13.1 and 13.2 we have two observations okay the 13.1 what we are done is uh, we are we are uh, placing a compass uh, near the uh, current carrying copper wire okay uh, electric current through the copper wire has produced a magnetic effect okay uh, a circuit uh, uh, a circuit contains the copper wire okay when you place the uh, compass compass near that circuit during when the current is when current is flowing through that then it is deflected okay it shows that uh, the current carrying copper wire produces a magnetic effect okay because of the magnetic effect the, the compass will deflect okay that means what is the observation from this activity electricity and magnetism are linked to each other okay electricity and magnetism magnetism means what it is a property property by which of which it uh, it will attract others okay it will attract others and rest in the north south direction in suspended freely okay so electricity and magnetism are linked to each other okay from the activity 13.4 uh, what did you observe means the deflection in the needle becomes opposite when the direction of the current is reversed okay when the current is passed through when you place a car, uh, uh, compass it will deflect okay if you change the direction of the current the direction of the deflection will also change okay that is what observed in this uh, uh, activity okay when the current is flowing from north to south okay here usually from the positive terminal only current will be flow. the flow the flow of current will mark from from the positive direction only that that we learn right when the current is flowing from flowing from this is a north this is a north to south the north pole of the compass needle uh, actually the circuit 
here we have a closed circuit and we are going to place a copper wire okay place a copper wire uh, parallel to the north direction okay it this copper wire is kept parallel to this north direction okay and uh, above that a compass is placed okay when you plug in the current will start flowing till that it will not deflect it will align like this so when it is a this is a copper wire if you keep the uh, compass um, if you keep the compass it will this north direction will align with this okay once it is plugged in once it is plugged in current starts flowing then it is deflected towards east when it is when the current is passing the compass is deflected to the east okay this deflection is due to the magnetic effect okay so the north pole of the compass needle move towards the east okay uh, if you reverse this okay when the current is flowing from south we have changed the connection and this now it becomes a positive terminal so current is flowing from south to north okay south to north the north pole so before applying the current it will be aligned with the direction okay in the north direction the copper wire is placed parallel to the north direction okay so the compass needle will be pointing towards the north only when you plug in it will deflect it towards the west okay the north pole of the uh, uh, compass needle move towards the west okay when you reverse the current when uh, the current is flowing from south to north then the deflection will also be changed okay so the north pole of the compass needle move towards the west okay so what do you observe from this activity the deflection the needle becomes opposite when the direction of the current is reversed okay when the direction of the current is reversed when the current is flowing from north to south it is it will be deflected towards the east when the current is uh, flowing from south to north the deflection is towards the west okay the compass is deflected towards the west clear on this thank you